continuation for my vlog on Monday ran up in my dude's shop and he's like what are you doing here and I'm like I got an appointment at noon he said no you don't have an appointment at noon so we checked it was supposed to be Wednesday of course I fucked it up not him so I have court at 10 on Wednesday and I'm a tattoo appointment at noon so now I gotta try hard to get to court so I can get to this tattoo I'm gonna go with my leg uh, I'm gonna get a wolf right on my thigh so getting dressed for court already running late fucking chick cut my hair way too short after letting it grow all corona thankfully wear this and i have an excuse for it to look like shit so about to hit court so nice outside wish i wasn't going to court but i'm going to court but just getting tattooed but i'm going to court to a tattoo appointment by about 10 minutes but it's all good usually my dude uh, mark with empire tattoo be talking so don't mind if you're late or not anyhow um my court got dismissed not because i fucked up and did anything wrong but because they're playing out had multiple charges another deputy had charges against him or her her too so Kind of crazy with everything going on with this George Floyd uh, situation. Let's talk about it for a minute. I mean, after like four minutes, actually after a couple minutes, I was like sick. And I was like, why is this dude still on him? Why? Like, I don't understand it. Um, I don't understand what those cops are thinking. It's clearly nothing that I agree with. It's nothing that any cop I know or have spoken to, and I've spoken to dozens, agrees with. Like, all I can do is give my opinion on what, from what I've seen, I wasn't there. Um, I don't know all the circumstances. I don't know what happened in the backseat of that car. Uh, but from what I've seen, my opinion is clear. If he was in handcuffs, I'm not even sitting on a dude. Like, you want to flop around and there's not, there's no resisting after you're in handcuffs. Unless you try to get up, I'm going to uh, try to sustain you. But if you're just going to lay there and move around, I'm not even going to be on you. And actually, I know every cop that I know, like... They're not even gonna be on you. You just flop around and be dumb until you, you wanna chill out. And then we're gonna talk, and I'm gonna put you in the back of the car. And if you wanna fight me to put you in the back of the car, then it's gonna be a different circumstance. But like, you're in handcuffs, you're not going nowhere. So, uh, rest in peace to him. I donated to his daughter today. Like, blows my mind. I see like the one GoFundMe for his, I think his brother starts like 11 million, but for his daughter, it's like 600,000. So, go to GoFundMe. Go donate to her. Um, clearly, she's going to grow up without a father now because of the actions of these cops, and that is just so unfortunate. Um, so I donated. I didn't donate a lot, but I did donate, and any little bit will help. So um, besides that, you know, there's there's tons of good cops out there. Actually, there's a majority of good cops out there, and all the good cops that I know are disgusted with this shit, disgusted with the racism, just with all of it. Um, we do 
not deserve the backlash that we are getting because we are human just like you. Uh, no matter skin color, no matter race, no matter sexuality. I mean, no matter anything, we're human just like you. It doesn't matter if you work at Burger King. There's fucking dudes that and chicks that be fucking up people's cheeseburgers every day because they don't care about their job. Um, doesn't mean everybody that makes cheeseburgers is bad. Now, cops are held to a higher standard, and I get it. We're held to a higher standard, and I'm with it. That's why every day I put on the uniform. My shit's crispy. Uh, I respect my career. I respect what I do as a career. I respect everybody until I don't get respect in a minute. I don't get respect. I'm not going to give it back. That's just that's what anything in life does, not just with my job. So, um, racism sucks, and if you're a racist, you suck. Period. So, um, but anyhow, that's my opinion on the shit. I could probably talk about it all day. It's disheartening to see all these cops that are just getting bashed and killed daily or people running up, capping one from behind in Vegas. Rest in peace to him, too. It's just it's sad, man. And uh, I just hope we can get back to the love and um, understand that you need police. You need them. At the end of the day, uh, I, they just got to be good and we got to be good. So and that's just the, the, the gist of it. So back to positive vibes um that's just what it is like i said shit it breaks my heart every word we can't take back cause with all that is